Good evening, friendos. It's time for Infinity Drive for Life tonight. The first of two guaranteed bonus rounds. This is round four. We had our first three rounds last weekend. Or not last weekend. Durr, last weekend was just yesterday. Last week. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we managed to eke out four wins in a total of nine Infinity Drives, which is uh, the wrong side of 50%, um, but still pretty darn close. Uh, Infinity Drive for Life is a multi-day charity stream to benefit Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Thank you, demo screen. I wasn't quick enough in clicking through you, apparently. Which goes, in turn, to benefit Children's Wisconsin of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Very, very excellent cause. We'll be uh, helping them out with their COVID-19 impact fund. COVID-19, obviously, uh, being a very serious pandemic going around the world. At current, uh, particularly bad in the United States, and particularly bad in the state of Wisconsin, which I currently reside, so... We don't need to go into the reasons for that, I'm sure many people are aware of what's going on with that. But just know that we're trying to raise money to assist with children's hospitals, which is, uh... uh institutions very much in need of our support, financially and otherwise. So tonight, being bonus round number one, round four, we are playing through our second runs with three androids. We're starting with Aubergine. Moving on to Cactus and then Lemon, uh, three of which from last week we managed to snag three of our Vor victories with. So we're hoping to head two for two for all three for tonight. Um, so even though we've already unlocked round four, of course, for tonight and round five for Wednesday night, uh, we still have plenty of time to un unlock round six for this coming Friday night. We are currently sitting at 583 of 900 points to get that one unlocked. Um, so, how do we generate more points? Well, on top of one point for every dollar of donations we receive, there's also various in-game and on-stream events we can do. Uh, actually, we just already received a, a, another kind of point counter here thing for us, so thank you very much to Firetron, who resubscribed for, for a second month in a row, so that'll tick up our new subscriber count once again, and add 20 points to our round extension counter. So now we're sitting at 603 of 900 points. Thank you very much. Um, but we'll also take up the point counter one point for every down I take during these runs. We're already at 123 across nine runs, which is about average, I would say. We're looking at, uh, you know, mid to low teens usually uh, per run. We'll add five points for every em embryo EX encounter. We've had four for the past nine runs with fights for that. No problem there. Ten points for every Justice Surge. Been pretty rare so far. Only two of our nine runs have had Justice Surges, but 10 points each for those. 20 points for each victory. We've had four victories over the past nine runs, so that's been a pretty good uh, point accumulator for us. Five points for each new follow during the event. We've had two new follows, so 10 points there. 20 points for each new subscriber, or ongoing subscriptions, whatever. We're gonna count them both because it's worth it. Uh, so a big point increase there. So 80 points out of four, four new or ongoing subscriptions. Thank you very much. And then, one point for every 100 bits cheered. We've got 500 total of those, so five points towards the total. And then, of course, the one point for each of the $265 donated so far. Thank you very much, everybody, for your generosity. Puts us at 603 points of 900 to unlock round six. So don't hold back. Despite the fact that we got plenty of time to push that point counter even higher, um, really don't hold back. Just throw in money, throw, throw in donations. If, if you're gonna you know, throw in for... Uh, a, a money costing one, please make it donations that benefits way more people than just subbing to me or, or throwing bits in the pool or whatever. That would be much appreciated. But even if you can't do that, that's fine. Uh, just hanging out and talking and, and making this a good time is real nice now. Alright, so let's get started with our first run of the evening. We are starting with Aubergine. We are already wearing the appropriate colors uh, because that's fun. Let's get the window dressing all set up. Bonk, bonk. Sure that took, it did, very good. And now, since we're on our second run through, we're gonna use an alternate skin for, for Aubergine here. Boom, our beautiful silver uniform. Uh, every android has uh, three total skins, and one of them actually has a fourth. But uh, you have the default skin, of course, which is unlocked from the very beginning, uh, when you unlock the android at the start. And then you get this nice, literally shiny metallic skin uh, for completing the normal campaign all the way through with the android. And then you also get another alternate, uh, skin uh, that was introduced with the Assault to Android Cactus Plus content expansion, which is of course what we're playing right now. You get a nice little skin for everybody else. So, uh, Obby's second alternate skin is his nice, pretty silver uniform. And we'll, we'll talk about the origins of that uh, uh, when we get a little bit further into the run. But for now, let's uh, hydrate up a little bit. Hmm. 
it's important to stay hydrated. Very important to stay hydrated. Oh, we've even got some more bits coming in. Awesome. Thank you, Sriat Labodnar. So that pushes up our point total by another one. That's okay. Every little bit counts. So now we're at 5... No, not 504. 604, I believe. It's if math can be trusted. And it very frequently can. My math, of course, not so much. But anyways, our first run of the evening is Aubergine. We are looking for two for two victories with our pal Aubie. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's do this. Roger. Let's, let's get it started. So we spent a lot of time in the first week of runs talking about various game mechanics and, and, and little strategies and stuff. We didn't spend a whole lot of time on the lore. Um, so the basic gist of the game, during the for the primary campaign mode anyways, is that uh, this uh, deep space long-range freighter, the Genki Star, that we're on right now, has been taken over by its robotic crew, and you, as one of the nine assault androids, has been sent in to, to kind of clean it up and figure out why they're going berserk, and then just, you know, make things all, all nice and kosher. Uh, the human crew has disappeared. Uh, we don't really mind that so much, so they're not really important. Um, but we're tasked with kind of cleaning this ship out. And uh, Infinity Drive being kind of an alternate mode, it doesn't really have its own little separate story thing to it, but that's okay. It kind of steps out, the story steps out of our way, and we just play the game because it's fun. Um, that's important. But Aubergine in particular, every, every android has their own little backstory, which is really... Really neat and cool. Uh, Aubergine in particular is one of the uh, security androids aboard. Um, and that'll be important when we get to Layer 21, when we fight Justice. Because um, there's a there's a little extra little bit of melancholy to her story. Um, but I won't spoil it until we get that far. Um, but it, it's it's neat overall how every android has their own little backstory. Uh, and we'll kind of go over each of those as we encounter them for our second run through for each. But for now, let's kind of blaze a trail. See, we're already on Layer 4 whilst I was yapping about uh, red layer form on top of that. So we've been doing good about keeping our chain rolling here. I'm gonna keep doing that, I hope. And then maybe we'll secure fifth victory time. Wouldn't that be something? I'd be excited about that. I'd be very excited about that. Because not only would that be, you know, just generally good to have another victory, that would add on Another 20 points to a possible event extension once we hit that 900 point threshold. Which I think we can do. Like, that seems well within our abilities to do. So that would pop on another round of this. Another three Infinity Drives for this Friday, 28th of August. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something, huh? But here we are, just cleaning out. Layer 4. Bye-bye, Layer 4. Now on Layer 5. Red Layer 5. Since we've covered Obby's backstory already, we're really kind of at the limits of how much we can we can talk about the game. I mean, unless I start really repeating myself. So why don't we kind of treat this as, a, as an AMA, as an Ask Me Anything. I'll answer pretty much anything within reason, of course. Um, just to keep things lively and cool. And to, you know, potentially distract me so I take a silly down, like, almost to that mine. <laughs> Would have been a good demonstration of me taking a silly down there. Oh boy. <laughs> Almost did a silly down. Can't believe it. Actually, no, that's not true. I can't believe it. This is not an easy mode to do. Even with perfect focus, which I certainly do not have. We doing okay. We made it through kind of the silly mine wave of layer 5. That's usually the one that gets me. Um, there'll be another silly mine wave coming up on 6 here. Later on. Or, you know, just starting right there, too. So we'll try to catch me unawares. But, uh, we're gonna do our best. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get sideswiped by that one a little bit. Accelerate definitely helping us out there. But here we are. Red layer 6. Still going strong. Real nice. Real good and cool. How wild would it be if we had a zero down run? Like, wouldn't that just be the best? That'd be the best for me. Like, that'd be kind of incredible, honestly. Um, not likely. Not likely, and I don't want to curse myself by saying so, but, uh, you know, it, it'd be fun. It'd be fun and cool regardless. Oh! And then I get popped! <laughs> Right in the face by that bomber dude. Oh my goodness. So embarrassing. It kind of startled me a little bit. It kind of jumped Kind of jumped a little bit. Oops. That's all right. All right, so layer six gets me um, Not by the silly minds, but just getting like 
too close, too close to that Vomit Titan. He had something to say about that. Oh well, we had a good run. Has a zero done? Has a zero down run ever been done in ID? Yes, in fact, it has. I have, um, but it has been done. In fact, a full S plus uh, Infinity Drive has been done more than once. Again, by not me, but it has indeed taken place. Uh, what, what I mean by saying S plus is that from the start to the end of the run. Uh, the, the people, more than one person, the people who have done it, have had no downs and no chain drops for the entirety of the 50 layers of Infinity Drive. And that's just wild. That's real wild to me. Because my goodness, that is... that is no mean feat. Or, is that is that how that expression goes? It's a pretty mean feat. I don't know, whatever. It, it's difficult is what I'm saying. It's difficult is what I'm saying. My lowest down count for an Infinity Drive run, I believe, is... Four or five. So low to mid single digits is what I've managed. Um, surely not easy. Wow, I'm surprised we got that firepower over there. Uh, surely not easy. Um, the number of downs does not dictate uh, the likelihood of winning the run. I've had a few single digit runs that have ended up losing. Um, so that's not extremely rare either. That's just how Infinity Drive goes sometimes. You can have the best start and end up losing. Or you can have the worst start and end up winning. Um, and a whole bunch in between, too. Oops, dropped chain there, because that dude was kind of hanging out. Whatever, doesn't matter. Also, at this point, chain drops are, 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 are no big deal. Um, it's really more the principle of the matter than anything else. Of course, we hate to see chain drops happen, but if they're going to happen, we may as well have them happen early on so that they're not kind of uh, a problem when we're dealing with battery in the mid to late 30s. But here we are, back up to red layer on 9. Our first glimpse at ye old large conveyor belts. Not fun. <laughs> we'll be seeing plenty of that throughout the run, of course. But my goodness, conveyor belts, not a good idea. Just kind of the worst, in fact. Um, but whatever, we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. My goodness, we are already dealing with the uh, big old blue Buster Titans here. And they almost had me there. We had a, a, a nicely timed swap to save our butts. We did not eat pavement or whatever material this floor happens to be made of. It looks rather solid. Perhaps not pavement or cement in the traditional sense, but very unfortunate. And probably very uncomfortable for a face down nap. Gonna carry on here. We should be out of layer nine momentarily. One more wave, it looks like. Ooh, that guy's got a laser. It's scheduled for our face, but we decided to say no. That's all right. We don't need that right now. And there we go. There's the rest of layer nine. Get out. Time for shorty layer ten. Just one wave of enemies for this one, and then we'll be headed into double digits, or further into double digits rather. Ten is technically already double digits. Yeah, so look at that. Easy layer 10. Easy layer 10. It just makes me even more ashamed of taking that silly down on 6. Oh well. It happens. It happens, it happens. Mm, okay, just had a silly down there because I got too close to that mega keg. He did not enjoy me being up in his face. Here we are, just chunking through early double-digit layers, no big threat here. On reaching 10, the game has decided that, okay, well, we've got a little bit of skill, I guess. And it's time to maybe not play quite so easily. But, uh, unbeknownst to the game, we are ready to deal with everything up to, like, 30. Without breaking too much of a sweat here. Ooh, what's my favorite polyhedron? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I'm, I'm a big fan of the dodecahedron. It's, 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 it's fun to say. It's fun to say it's nice and regular. I don't think it's got a, a whole lot of detractors to it. So, you know, it's kind of one of the more popular polyhedrons. But, you know, I just like it. I just like the dodecahedron. It's a fun polyhedron. It's a safe polyhedron, probably. 
Like, not too wild. Not too wild. But, uh... But, you know. It, it, it's there. It, it, it's there to be your buddy. Oops, we missed that battery entirely. Oh, well. No biggie, we don't need it. Ooh, this is gonna be... Oh, my goodness. We somehow danced out of that and then got blasted by a laser. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, that was, that was a dance, but we ended up taking a laser to the face anyways. Ah, well. Ah, well, what are you gonna do? Ooh, wow. Things are getting spicy on layer 12. Excuse me. Why? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? That's right. I mean, layer 12 kind of got some surprises to it. Got that center post, so it's not an open field. Got the holes in the middle ring there. Kind of a pain to navigate around. The only thing that could make it worse is if it was uh, a conveyor belt as well. That would just be mm, peak silliness for a low-level layer. But hey, well, look at that. What did I say about conveyor belts? Conveyor belts are here. 13. Yep. Yuck and gross. Alright, that dude can go over there. I'm just thinking. Caught behind that wall. Alright, so these dudes took a side on that one. Grab this accelerate. Dealing with this conveyor belt without accelerate is not a pleasant time. Squeeze his butt back there, anyways. Figures. Alright, not pop that mine can right on our face. I was thinking about it, but then I decided not to. Okay, pretty good 13. Still on red layers here, still looking okay. Our pal Obby making short work. All these groups. No real problems just yet. Couple silly downs, couple silly early downs, but uh, honestly, not unexpected. Alright, looking nice. And on to Vespi. Here we go. Nice layer 15. Full power with firepower going in makes this uh, less of a problem than Vespi would normally be. Still, we, we don't want to take this too lightly. Vespi can still be a pain, no matter what. Let's just play it nice, play it nice and good. Be ready for things. We'll grab batteries and such. So we double the battery there, very good, very good, very good. Oh, don't take a silly down here though. That could have been ugly. I might, uh, I was gonna take that shut down because I didn't feel like dealing with final phase Vespi here, but that's alright. No problem. Okay, easy peasy. Grab that while that platform is still intact. Excellent. Probably about the best that transition could have gone. Got Vespi down with nary a scratch, and we got that firepower off the center. Before it collapsed inward. And, hey there, we'll look at casual thousand chain inbound. Goody, goody, goody. Oh! <laughs> and then I am punished for my hubris, so... Oops. <laughs> well, rip casual thousand G. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. No good deed goes unpunished, etc, etc. But that's alright, we got plenty of time to, to recover that thousand chain. See, look, we're already back out of blue layer onto green layer. Okay, not on to 17. We're back at red layer. Everything's fine. Kind of took a quick pop there to stop our energy recharge. That's silly. Poorly timed. That's I. Right. Trying to 
make me blink, but tossing a whole bunch of mines in, it's not gonna happen. We're, we're, we're ready. We're ready for it. It's a nice open field. It might be a, a conveyor belt uh, layer, but it's a nice open field, so at least we got something going for us. layer transition there we had everything off the morphing part of the level so we didn't lose any power-ups which you know honestly at this point this early in the run not a big deal if we lose a couple here and there but the fewer we lose now the more we can dip in when things start getting serious around 30 wow that dude wanted to take me on a ride oh, thanks Nice, clean 18. On to 19, a nice red 19. Keeping these red layers flowing. Very clean battery grabs, too. Besides that one we missed back on, was it, 13? We've had some very quick battery grabs. Or we've had some very lucky battery drops. So that one not so much because we were across the, the hole from it, but whatever. Okay, that was a bit scary. We popped that uh, black hole and took that whole group right towards us, which was not ideal. Good thing we had that shutdown kind of dialed in and ready. Ooh, this is a bad spot to be with mines and stuff. <laughs> Get off the edge of the circular room, please. Always manage to find the corners somehow. Okay, now we're back to casual thousand chains. Can't wait to take a take a dunk and and make that back to zero, huh? Like almost there. Good thing we had that black hole pop to slow down those mines, otherwise they would hit my face for sure. Okay, good cleanup on the center. That super mine did a little bit of work for us. One of those. <laughs> I want to ungroup those uh, those power ups. Oh, and then we drop chain because I got indecisive about something. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> Better to drop the chain naturally than take it down. But honestly, we shouldn't be dropping it at all. Spicy, excuse me. A lot of mines that shouldn't have existed there. One is a nice slam. Especially for Obby. You got huge groups that you just draw towards the center and Kilo in there to sell it shooter them all up. Ooh, interesting shutdown, but good. We caught the beginning of this slayer. Nice red 21. Mm, 
goodness. All right. Uh, <laughs> conveyor belt plus mines. No, please. Bad combo. do its best to spread all these dudes out for me. Yuck. Okay, good. We only lost one power up there, but... Better that than probably dropping chain to go get it. Oops. We need that shot. Alright, so far it's been a pretty quiet run since our dunk on 12 there. I can appreciate that. It's, it's nice to have just a nice sit back and, and, and let it play itself out here. We've still got about 10 layers before it gets serious though, so we're not even, not even real worried. Okay, so Justice here. Remember earlier I was talking about uh, Avi's backstory, her being one of the security androids. She actually uh, treats Justice as a mentor, so when all of the, uh, all the robot crew kind of go berserk, um, well... Justice is a robot, and he's kind of fighting against Avi, and she's uh, she still kind of respects him a little bit, so it's like, oh, Sort of heartbreaking in its own way, but... You know, you take the good, you take the bad. You take them both, and there you have the packs of life. Okay, we gotta be set up for... Set up for this surge? No, we're not, because he's gonna shoot his own head. Dang it. Justice, come on, man! Come on! We try. We tried to set up for it. We were a little bit too late on uh, all the damage dealing, though. So, no justice surge this time, unfortunately. Still got a chance to get Embryo EX going in here. So, possibly five points there. We did lose the ten points for the justice surge. Well. Okay, thousand chains back. Let's see if we can hold on to it for more than a couple seconds, huh? Get an actually good max chain out of this one. The best we've had is 35 hundo, right? And I don't remember which one that was last week. Is that peanut, perhaps? It's like a nice even 35 hundo. Not the best chain I've ever had, certainly, but it, it's pretty. It's a pretty good number. Considering we usually top out at less than 2,000. Got both of those just in case it was on a weird segment of level. Opening to 25. <laughs> that hero mine almost caught me. I figured that black hole would take care of them all. One of them escaped, as usual. Alright, 
Layer 25, we're about halfway through. The game is starting to decide we are doing too well. Ramp up even quicker now. Still, we got a good five, six layers before we really need to worry about anything. Transition into 26. <clears throat> Casino Lair has arrived. Keep our Accelerate primed and ready. We don't want to deal with the holes in the floor and the conveyor belt and everything else. Jumpy Boy is trying to get us. Try to keep our chain rolling here. We took our sweet time taking care of the Blue Buster Titans. So that guy was still sitting around. Drop chain there for one really tiny guy just sitting there. Ooh, boy. Okay. Excuse me. Alright. Good 26. No downs. Nice and clean. Nothing that really scared us about it. Seven can be kind of a mixed bag, because even though it's nice and open, drop a whole bunch of these mine cans in the center, it becomes a problem very quickly. Looks like we made it through the worst of it, though. Okay, set on a nice 2000 chain now. Excellent. Most good. special there, just whip around Hilo to cover that turret that was on the far side. We didn't have to walk around. Knowing my luck, we're going to lose probably all three of these to a bad layer transition. Mark my words. Grab at least one of them, hope to get the others on the inside ring. There we go. Some time to work with this. Okay, now they're all three on the inside. We're safe. <laughs> scary. I was trying to get to that battery without eating a laser and managed to pull it out. Goodness. Goodness me. Okay, good. We didn't lose anything there. Even our chain, surprisingly enough.
Okay. Good start to 29. Wow, we're on 29 already. Jeez, I lost count in there somewhere. Still pulling a nice 29 now. Necessarily need that shutdown. Getting a little sketchy there for a second. Starting to see the, the battery drain be a little bit more apparent. Oh boy, excuse me. Very careful there. All those rockets coming down. Ah, nailed by a bunch of fish bullets on that wall there. So that was almost 3,000 chain, I believe. Not terrible. Still, we can do much better than that. We're kind of running out of time to do that, though. Seems like perhaps, oops, the silly drop there as well. Perhaps we will need to play nearly perfectly from here on out to get close to another 3,000 chain. Help that I keep having these little tiny drops right now and again. Okay, into blue 30. This is where it's going to start being important to not be on blue layers ever. But if we can maybe make 30 our last blue layer, that would be fun. It's the least problematic of the 30s to have this on. Oh, interesting. Didn't even see that mine can there. <laughs> just kind of popped down and immediately dumped its load. Thanks for that, I guess. Consider maintaining my chain next time. You know what? I hadn't thought of that. That's that's good advice, though. We'll take it under advisement. Oof, so alright. So we're back to blue 30. That's mm, not good. But we can keep the battery just kind of flowing nice and free here. Get out of this heck that is all these mines, oh, goodness. Okay. Doggo, please let go. Thank you. We're out of 30, on the 31. Getting close to the determining factor for Embryo EX as soon as we hit that Titan gank later on in this layer. That's when we need to stop messing around, not drop chain, and not take downs. Oof, like I was saying. <laughs> but thankfully we didn't hit Titan gank just yet, so we're still in the clear. Still very much in the clear here. You know, we would prefer not to take even unnecessary downs here. Mm, I don't think we're quite the Titan Gank. One, one more! One more enemy wave and then it's Titan Gank time. And then we gotta stop messing around. Stop creating drama for drama's sake, you know? Stop making things interesting and just make things good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Titan gank, let's go. Take the coward's blue there. Oh my goodness, they really tried there. Thankfully, 
we somehow managed to run around all of that. That was silly. I was very scared for part of that, honestly. Some shenanigans going down that I didn't want to be party to. Okay, and hello, Embryo EX. So that's a nice uh, extra five points here. Glad we managed to slam that battery out of them before we got the next one. So good, 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 good. We are on good track here. Looking good. Uh, I'm tempted to take this blue because I don't like this phase. Alright, we did it. <laughs> we did it because I don't like this phase. It requires a precision of movement that I don't always have. This phase as well is kind of frightening. Just gotta keep that... Keep awareness of where the holes in that bullet pattern are. We'll take the blue here, too, because otherwise it's going to be problematic. Ooh, especially when we do that. My goodness, that was extremely close. Ooh, boy, okay, I did a panic swap just in case things tur went south. Turns out we didn't need it, but I guess it worked out anyways. One of those to be an accelerate, thank you. This is gosh dang conveyor belt layers. <laughs> are, are big problems. Without an accelerate to kind of manage our mobility. Also drawing those batteries from a distance, because I don't want to walk over to them. At heart, I am lazy, <laughs> and also very scared to walk into a big crowd. <laughs> I'm gonna burn a few of our built-up power-ups, just because 33 is big pain otherwise. Guys, still over there, so get out of here. Okay, we are missing our accelerate again. You can tell because I'm getting very scared here. Oh boy, that was a bit dicey. <laughs> I don't like to rely on those swaps underneath a mine cam, but sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta, you got no choices. <laughs> it's like, where is it? I knew I left it there because it was getting a little dicey to go over and walk to it, but I want to leave it on the field for too long. I think we might have had a very short blip of critical there, but it was hard to tell. Oh boy, excuse me. So if we're getting our first blip of critical at 34, that's fine. That's pretty good. We've got a lot to work with then, but can very much turn on a dime, or another very small monetary denomination, so just want to keep our things rolling as best we can.
quick battery grab there. The quicker we make these now, the better. Nice. Okay. Good layer transition there. Oop, excuse me. Oh, they need to stop jumping each other closer to me. <laughs> excuse me. My goodness. Very scary. Oh, of course it was a big one that dropped in there, so rip chain back to blue 35. Not good. Not a good time to lose momentum, because we're coming very rapidly up to the curse. And that's where things can really just swing wildly into the negative direction here. So we're staying out of critical territory. Oh, that was very scary. If that can had popped like a second earlier, we probably would have ate it pretty good. And we had enough fire control going on to avoid that. Grab that because I get a little bit scared of this wave. Also that, because that laser was about to fry me. Okay, good layer transition, even though we lost that firepower there. It's okay. Oof, I don't know what I got bopped by there. It wasn't good, though. Hmm. I believe we've got enough battery padding to make this work still. It's still kind of scary to be taking down to them. Now 36 and above here. Kind of maintaining, kind of losing, kind of gaining, and swapping between all three of those at some point. <clears throat> he was jumping over to give me a hug, I didn't want any of it. Things were gonna get bad. Okay, looking alright, into red 37. who got their rockets off. That's not good. That's going to be a lot of them being a problem to us here. Okay. Into 38. Into the curse. Oh, and we immediately drop chain. Great. <laughs> Excuse me on all of that. It was very bad. <laughs> oh no. Um, hmm. Somewhat of a small problem now. Late battery pop there, so that's a bad sign. Especially on Curse. Okay. 
Also a late pop. Slightly earlier pop that time. Which means we're gaining slightly, but... Mm. Okay, on to 39, and we're in okay position. We started it at red. Which is nice. We are going to need something to get us through this. Like that, thank you. battery pop there. It's all the... Oh my god. All the gosh dang power-ups are over here for some reason. Fire power among them. Okay, good. That was a pretty quick battery drop that time. So engineered it just right for that to happen. Kind of shocked, actually. So, if we keep that up, with no more silly downs, we will have survived the curse and then some. Okay, relatively good battery drop there. Oh my goodness, that was a scary amount of mines. for popping the battery there and not over by that guy. Excellent. Now, my kingdom for several shutdowns. <laughs> Here we go. 40 and beyond. Ooh, I didn't want both of those shutdowns, but you know what? Getting one is better than none. Chain drop there. Interesting. Shouldn't have happened. <laughs> We're in a good enough position where that probably won't kill me. But who knows sometimes. Oh, that was a shutdown in there! Wasn't there? Oh, no. That's bad. Doggos, please need to stop grabbing onto me now. Got no speed. Okay. Alright, we're... Mm, it's a slightly larger problem than it was before. Oh, oh my goodness, lasers, please. Oh, why is that dude behind the wall? <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, that's okay. Oh my goodness, please. And having these on non-red layers is not good. There's not enough enemies for battery drops to be safe. We're still hanging in there. So that's good. Keeping our firepower rolling, keeping Accelerate going. We got plenty of power-ups in the bank here. Oh, okay. Good thing that popped there, not on the dude behind the wall. I 
off the double shutdown, but that'll do. late battery because of the layer transition. That's okay. Alright, here we go. Good old 49. Managed to screw us over on our peanut run. We've got a... Oh my goodness, those guys are going to jump those mines right into me. Ain't they? <laughs> they will try. They will certainly try. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you not entertained? Boom. That's pretty close to our obby PB too, score-wise. I think we're only about 100k off. My goodness. <laughs> my goodness. So, if we had taken just one less down, that would have been a score PB. All without the, the justice surge too. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Well, there we go. There's another win. That's two for two on Aubergine for the event. That's great. I feel good about that. Like, I'd be real embarrassed, kind of, um, if we didn't get an obby clear at least once. So getting two of them is nice. Getting two of them is nice. Let's, let's tick up the numbers. Let's tick up the numbers. Only eight downs. Great. Single digits is what I like to see. That advances to 131. Uh, we did get an Embryo EX fight in there, so that's one there. No Justice Surge, unfortunately. Another victory there. Everything else remains the same, because we're all caught up. Excellent. Clawing our way closer to that 900-point event extension threshold, which will unlock round six on Friday. Plenty of time to get there, and plenty of drives yet to go. Two tonight yet, and then three on Wednesday. Still, if you think you're being clever by holding back on, on the... Uh, <coughs> Donations or subs or follows or what have you, whatever is available to you to help uh, tick that point counter up. May as well just do it, right? I mean, worst case scenario, we get to 900 and I play another set on Friday, right? But whew! Okay, cool. Super glad. Super glad for that. So now we're at a nice in between run point, so here's a quick recap. This is Infinity Drive for Life. Multi-day charity stream in support of Extra Life, which supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This event going for Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa to help out with their COVID-19 impact fund. Uh, very important, very good, very good cause. Happy to be doing this and happy to see lots of generosity roll in. Thank you very much for your donations so far. I forgot to mention this at the start of the night, go, go figure. Um, but prizes, prizes, prizes. Contest run and played on Infinity Drive 4.life. Top two scores in our result guessing contest takes home one of these bad boys. This is a physical copy for a Nintendo Switch of Assault Android Cactus Plus. The actual cartridges, a nice old box, full color manual, and even including, I don't know if it's gonna show, but even including some, uh, some trading cards in there. That's freaking great! That's super cool! I promise I didn't open these and look at the cards. I have no idea what's on them. I know that's a very specific denial, so it's less trustworthy, but trust me, I didn't do that. Trust me, I didn't do that at all. But boy, how do- Oh, shoot! Look at that. See, I just say something. Donations running. My goodness. Okay, we got 88 bucks from Kenny. <laughs> this is the You Pick Lemon donation. One dollar for every point people earn for picking stats for the lemon run in the first week of the marathon. My goodness. Thank you very much, Kenny. That's great. Fantastic. <clears throat> also have $25 from Firetron. Some more for that run. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. And $50 from EI. $50. 50, excuse me. 50 bucks for reaching the magical 50-50 success rate. Excellent. 
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. That's, um... That's putting that up there a little bit, isn't it? Let's do a quickie recalc on our points. Because I may have just doomed myself to uh, a Friday round. And by doomed, I mean... <coughs> added that to the list, because I really do enjoy playing this game. So if we get to do another round on Friday, that's fun and cool, too. Where'd my calculator go? Excuse me. I'm not going to add this all in my head now. You're just dooming us to mistakes and bad numbers. Alright, so with our points the way they are... Calculator, please. Thank you. With our points the way they are, let's see, we got 131 plus... Uh, 25 plus 20 plus 100 plus 10 plus 80 plus 6 plus 4, 28 for the donations. A smooth 800! Oh my goodness. But then... <laughs> But then, oh no, <laughs> by which I mean, of course, oh yes, thank you very much. Oh, five gift subs from EI, thank you very much, my man. I knew I could count on you. So five more subs in there, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, I think that puts it as us at a smooth 900, doesn't it? Yikes, what have I wrought? What have I wrought here? So that means we've met the 900 points. That means round six is ago this Friday at 7 p.m. CDT. And then that unlocks our next, our next point threshold. <laughs> Which now I'm getting kind of sketched on whether or not we'll reach that. But we're going to put it out there regardless. 14 hundo. 14 hundo to unlock round seven. <laughs> Which will be next week, Monday, 7 p.m. CDT. So that's a lot of points. That's the big puntos now. We're getting to the big puntos, but... Uh, <clears throat> considering we now have eight runs to make that happen. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, thank you very much, everybody. This is great. I love it. I love it so much. Alright, it's time for round two of the evening. Which means that we need to change shirts, and also change the window dressing a little bit. So let's do that now. Our next run is going to be with, what, cactus, right? Yeah. So, let's get some colors. Look away. Of course, if you're squeamish. Too late. I guess I, I didn't say that early enough, but... Get our nice cactus colors on. This beautiful thing. Wonderful. Alright. Dress myself like a big boy. Okay. Excellent. Now have the cactus shirt on. Just need the cactus window dressing to go along with it, don't we? Oh, look at that. That's where the cactus window dressing is. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Plus we can uh, turn on one of Cactus's alt skins now that we're at our second run with her. Alright, look at that. Nice silver armor. Good old deal with the shades. Man, super cool. Super cool. Mm-mm-mm. Alright. Are we ready for this? Cactus uh, was one of our round one runs last week Monday. About a week ago by now, right? Uh, we also had a win with her last week, so this will be two, for, well, hopefully two for two with Cactus. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oops, didn't want to swap off the, the six silver armor. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, Cactus! Hooray! Uh, one of the not necessarily easier characters to, to play with, but one of the more straightforward ones. Doesn't have, um, any too outlandish of weaponry. Just, you know, standard assault rifle for primary, and then good old short-range flamethrower for secondary, so... Got some more traditional weapons to use. <clears throat> Which is all well and good. So Cactus's deal, her story, as she is the titular assault android for which the game is named, she is, a uh, one of the police androids sent... Well, 
pretty much the only police android sent to kind of work out this whole mess with the Genki Star and its uh, robotic crew uprising. Um, so she manages to get aboard the Genki Star by crashing her ship through the doors of the cargo bay. Um, you know, that's how one gets in to a ship normally, right? Um, so she's there to kind of deal with this robot uprising. She encounters a few more of the other ship's androids in the cargo hold. Um, she meets up with Coral and Lemon and Holly at the very, be very beginning of the game, and they are the four that are unlocked from the very start that you can use to play the game in the campaign. But Cactus has got a bit of a wild streak. She doesn't really, you know, care for orders or or following the rules or anything, which is kind of cool. I mean, her flamethrower is a, is a rigged up barbecue if you look real closely at it. And so somehow she managed to find a barbecue on the Genki Star, rigged it up as a flamethrower, and she's just toasting robots left and right here. Oh my goodness. Pretty good. Pretty gosh dang good. So here we are with Cactus. We're already on layer 4. My goodness, those first three layers just fly by, don't they? Can't believe it. So let's hope we uh, don't take a silly down on 6 this time. Because that was a bit embarrassing. With our obby run just now. And of course, by saying don't take a silly down on 6, I'm not saying take a silly down on 5 instead. That would be even worse somehow. Alright, here we are in 5. Starting off with red layer. I'm pretty good in standard, no, nothing to worry about here. Here come the silly mines. I'm gonna try to. Oh boy, they almost got me there. <laughs> I was getting real panicky for a sec. They almost got me. Um, but we made it through. Made it through the silly mines and just hope to not get popped in the face by a bomber titan or something. Because that can still happen. That can surely still happen here. Or a rocket from a from a rocket fight out. That would be embarrassing as well considering how few of them there are. But, layer 5 looking real nice now. Not too much to be worried about. Alright, on to layer 6, which also has some very silly minds, so we're not out of this just yet. Like, they looked at layer 5 and said, well, hey, what was there not enough of? Oh, right, mines. Let's throw some more mines in there. And so it happens. And so it happened. That was just the first wave of mines before. There's still way more coming here. I think. Unless my memory is incorrect, which is very well possible. Here we go. Here's the other mines. The mines that usually get me. Ah! <laughs> ah, what did I say? The mines that usually get me. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so there's layer 6 again with the first down. Can't believe it. Actually, no, that's not true. I can believe it. I can believe it. I can't believe it. Oh well. Can't win them all. So the saying goes, but that's all right. Like the, the the stress of the first down is gone. Now we can just perfect the remainder of the run. No more downs. Didn't want the accelerate on the side. Well, at least Embryo is still a pushover. He's just like, all right, he showed up to work. He, he was ready, ready to get that promotion, and he's just, ah, he can't do it. He just can't. Just not up for it. Just was not ready to get that promotion today. Maybe next time, Embryo. Maybe next time, huh? 
But you know, you'll make it someday. Here we are, layer 8, back to red layer. That abysmal layer 6. Yeesh. Well. Well, pretty tepid layer 6, or layer 6, nice. Pretty tepid layer 8. Not really much to speak of there. See, look, it's already over. No biggie. No big deal. But, of course, layer 8 gets its first showing of the conveyor belt, so of course it's going to be worse than most. Worse than most of the single-digit layers. See that dude down there? I couldn't tell where exactly where he was. He's caught between the walls of the conveyor belt. It's the worst place to be for anything. Like those dudes caught behind the walls. Somehow less bad than being caught between them. Crowd control on layer 10, no problem for Cactus. He's got good weaponry for dealing with a whole bunch of wasps. Wasp cans, no problem. Even the mine cans, no problem for her. Fully powered assault rifle takes that. And says, haha, why don't you try harder? And of course they can't, because they're, they're just mine cans after all. They only get paid to do so much. Very tepid layer 11, too. Nothing much to speak of here. No conveyor belt, just a couple walls. Couple walls, couple holes. Very traditional. Very upstanding layer. But, not much. Not much going on here. A couple mines, though. Mines can be tricky. Rockets can be tricky as well. You're not paying attention to it. Pretty easy piece. We lost that power up in the center, that's unfortunate. We weren't thinking about the layer transition. That's alright, we can lose a couple. Lose a few of those early game, not gonna matter. So I think even by the end of our obby run, <clears throat> you know, just ten minutes ago, we had plenty in store still. We were still popping power ups left, right, and center by layer 49, so we could have eaten a few more and been okay. Oh, okay. I was about to say, if we lose chain to that little micro dude, just one wasp floating around, it would have been quite embarrassing. I think we saw him at the right time. Good old casual thousand chain stopping by to say hello. Hopefully it'll stick around. But I guess that's up to us, isn't it? Like, it's not by its own whims whether it appears or disappears, but by ours. Eh, we'll take the shutdown, just gonna sit in there, looking pretty. Nice easy layer 12. On to 13. Get over red 13. Really a big problem here, either, except for the conveyor belt. Always a problem, no matter where it shows up. Second appearance after layer 8. It's a mostly open field otherwise, just a couple segments of wall floating around to see. As long as we keep things mostly in the center. Just 
just like that. Layer 13 is no more. On to 14. Nice old red 14. that shut down. That was kind of silly, but we still managed to take one of those dudes who's crawling up. And on the best thing. No real easy to execute ball strat with Cactus, unfortunately. We could have tried the whole inner ring with the flamethrower. We had the accelerate for it. My goodness, that is a dangerous thing to do. Since we're sitting at 15 hundo, looks like Vespi is phasing in and out of existence there. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Vespi, wait. I know we don't like you, but, uh... <laughs> but excuse. Please don't be doing that. Well, hopefully that works itself out. It's, uh, we don't want something to crash here. <laughs> that would be real unfortunate, wouldn't it? Okay, Phasey Vespi is out of here. Very good. We're gonna have to watch Justice, I think. If he's having a little phase problem too, we've got to be real careful. I mean, I don't know what we can do about it from here on out, but, you know, maybe we just watch things. Okay, 2000 chain, looking real nice. Not over yet, but it's looking real nice. Slayer 16. Very clean. <laughs> Very clean and no problems. Battery meter's looking nice and full. Chain's looking real fly at nearly 24 hundo. I'm gonna get popped by one of these mines just for saying so. I bet. Wouldn't that just be a thing? Time my flamethrower quite good there. That was uh, supposed to eliminate the rest of that turret. Did not. But all right, good transition into 18. Nothing scary there. Ooh, except for that. <laughs> I heard the laser. I was just like, hmm. I don't know where I am in in relation to it. So I hope that's not the one I think it is. And it was. And oopsie. Got a little toasty. That's okay. We got plenty of time to take that uh, chain beyond, what was it, 25 under or something? It was pretty good, but not great. Plenty of time to build that back up. Even though we already passed Vespi, so like the easy 800 plus there is gone. Lift that firepower out of there without grabbing the shutdown. That's a good move. Didn't need the shutdown. Didn't need the coward play shutdown at that particular moment.
Oh, dang. Line dropped in kind of uh, unannounced there. Well, geez, come on. <laughs> come on, we don't need that. Don't need any of that. Explicitly went to the center to avoid mines because I knew they would try to pin me on the outside again like they always do. Ended up getting hoisted by it regardless. Oops. Ah, oh, well. Another quick two downs added the counter on 19 here. Quickly enough. or 20 than we normally have because we didn't start it at red. <clears throat> so that first little wave was mm, kind of boring. There's a lot going on in the center. We're going to lose all of those if that center drops out at layer transition here, which I think it will. We have to try to wiggle this out in such a way we don't lose all of those. So we'll just grab those two, even though we didn't necessarily need that shutdown. Yeah, there goes one. Okay, that's fine. Losing one is better than losing three. We did have to take one of them that we didn't need. So on to 21, walls and conveyor belts and a hole in the center, trying to do its best to stop us, but we're going to say, nah, we do not wish to be stopped at this current juncture. Thank you, though. So we shall proceed. Nice 21. <clears throat> no silly things happening there. There. Oh, and now it's time for justice as we <coughs> pass into casual thousand chain again. This will be a bit of a trick if we get a justice surge with cactus. Their damage output doesn't really give you a lot of time for setup. Especially when he sits his butt over one of those posts. It's 
faster, please. Oh, we're we gonna try this? Gonna try this? No. Had to abort. Getting too close. So no justice surge there. We had to bail. We had more time on the chain timer to do that. We could have pulled it off, but no such luck. So whatever. We'll we'll, we'll make do with keeping our chain through that, though. Nice casual thousand. So we move into 24. Starting at red layer, real nice. Real good. Things are gonna get crowded in a hurry. But more enemies, more weapon energy drops, more batteries. Win, win, win. Well, lose, win, win. I suppose. It's more enemies isn't necessarily good, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take it. Oh, caught the end of a rocket there. Oopsie. That hurt. That hurt a little bit, so rip that thousand plus chain again. That's right though. We can get it back and then some before things start getting gnarly on 30 plus here. that last firepower. I wasn't sure where that wall was going to appear. Three on green 25. Now red 25. Good timing. Easy peasy. Doggo grabbed me when he did. Been in just a little bit earlier. Might have gotten toasted by that mine. A lot easier to focus down huge groups of enemies with Pancus than it is for most others. It's because of her sheer damage output. Especially at range, too. Like her fully powered assault rifle doesn't have a whole lot of damage fall off at the very edge of her range. Usually it's enough to get across most of the arena, especially when there are walls up. I left all of those turrets. Amazing. Okay, Casino Lair Mark II. Well,. It hasn't really changed from before, I suppose, so it's not a Mark II. More like attempt two at ruining our run. Just as a mind bounces over to say hello. Dang it. It's got me again that time. We were ready. We torch things so we could get away. I kind of got lucky on plowing through that mine can on our swap back, so we got the invincibility out of it. 
but it looked cool. Red layer 27, nice and open for us to just wreak havoc everywhere. Nothing to get in our way with Cactus's superior primary range and superior <laughs> firepower at that range. My goodness. Easy peasy. Onto a red 28. Kind of a pain, especially with the turrets that will undoubtedly pop up over there. Nope, we need to not get toasted by any of these dudes, please. Ah! <laughs> I saw it! I saw it coming, like, hmm. Give myself three to one odds on avoiding that one. I failed. That's alright. We're still kind of outside the range of needing to be serious about this. So plenty of time. Plenty of time to recover. Posting that doggo, my man. Sometimes they can come in handy. You don't take their laser to your own face. Take that shut down just to make things a little bit less sketch. Clean transition. Oh, I thought one of those was a firepower. The double shutdown is embarrassing. Totally unnecessary. Good <laughs> quick swap there to save our butts. Although we probably still would have survived with the uh, accelerate present. The fact that we ate everything but one health there probably tells me that the swap didn't save us at all. <laughs> spicy. Very spicy there. I don't know if we caught a laser or a mine there, but it's nearly the end. Couldn't quite get around the corner. Left that turret in the center. Alright, so blue 30, not great. This is how we started 30 with Obby not too long ago. 
still made it out of that one. We've still got a, a pretty good battery buffer rolling here, so no, not too worried about this. But still, rather have not have lost that chain. All things being equal and such. Necessarily want that, but couldn't see an easy out of what I was building up for myself there. That one too, I guess, was a little bit more of a mistake, but whatever. Here we are, 31 again, so we're coming up on Titan Gang. Which will decide our fortune for Embryo EX. Rather, and we'll decide whether or not we see Embryo EX. That doesn't mean we're gonna perform well if we do face him. Gives us a chance to face him at the very least. Ooh, that was a scary place to be. Caught in the, the tiniest of corners. Facing down a laser and a Buster Titan. That was mm, not a good choice, necessarily. <laughs> it was a choice. Not a good choice. Titan gank coming up. I think this is it right here, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Coward blues in sight. Never mind, there's one. Pretty easy with a coward blue and a high DPS character like Cactus. My goodness. Exciting. Very exciting. Feels good to just melt through a whole stack of big dudes. Here we go. For Dark Embryo. Second on the night. Or Embryo EX, rather. I, I guess it's both. I don't know what the official name is for them. But either way, we're going to melt and it's going to feel good. Bonk. Dark Egg. <laughs> Could very well be Dark Egg. I suppose that is the encode name of them, isn't it? So I suppose that could be considered canon. But the beauty of the game is it's got plenty of space for your own interpretations, too. Okay, it's not greatest play at that. Melt him from afar regardless. Alright, and again, don't want to deal with this, so bonk, and melty melt melt melt. And bonk. <laughs> See ya, embryo. <laughs> Piece of garbage. <laughs> Alright, very clean. A very clean embryo EX fight. Full chain and everything. So it's looking real good on 33. And despite its 
trashy conveyor belt. enough left to melt that third big dude, but flamethrower delivers yet again. Casual thousand chains back. Hopefully to stay. Take that shutdown. I was just sitting there, looking all lonely like. Battery over here. Okay, very clean 33. It's pretty rare. Pretty rare to get even with cactus. Fair few accelerates there. That's not great, considering you can only stack them up twice. Or get it once and then stack it again, so... <laughs> no matter, though. I think we're pretty strong. Excuse me. Pretty strong on the old power-up counts. So eating a few to make things safer is probably not the worst thing. Started this wave without an accelerate, excuse me. Why does that always happen? <laughs> Dang it. Well, okay. Caught me on that one. Dang, that could have been a real clean 34. Hadn't muffed it up there. That's alright. What are you gonna do? Can't win them all, I guess. First little bips of critical on 34 again, so that's still pretty good. Consistent at the very least. If nothing else. Doggo, please! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Doggo, no, why? Why would you do this to me? Please, my goodness. I'm right in the center here. We're in a couple shutdowns here. I don't like how messy that was. This is a clean recovery back to red layers here. I think one of those doggos didn't grab me before I went for that blue. Kissing the floor one more time. But okay. Sorta of dirty into 36, but that's alright. We'll make it work. We, we've done more with less. 
So I'm confident. Confident so far. a little silly, but we have recovered well out of critical. On 36, that's great. It's good to see. Like, uh oh, this is turning into a cluster I don't want any part of. Oops. Ah, well. Have to make things interesting somehow. You can't just be all rainbows and roses or something. I don't know. Again, of course. Burp, 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 burp. Where's our battery pop, though? Let's see, that's that's kind of worries me. Like we get so far ahead, and then we get some really late drops, and now suddenly it's a problem. Um, one or both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Last dude's left alive. Hmm. I don't like how late those things are dropping. That makes this 38 way dangerous. Way more dangerous than it needs to be. One of those shutdowns, please. Thank you. Still don't like how dicey this is getting. I don't know why it's my cactus runs that always come down to the wire. Like, this should be a pretty straightforward run, right? Cactus is nice and strong, but jeez. Very stressful. <laughs> Okay, that one was slightly better. It's still concerning, though. That dude is, of course, behind the wall. Okay, took a clip from a, a rocket on that one. Very scary. Suddenly hit zero health. Okay, it's gonna be a, a dicey 39. We went in pretty low. A couple well placed shutdowns will help us out. That one was pretty late too. I don't know why they're popping so late here. I'm keeping things rolling fast. Yeesh. Extremely bad, <laughs> somehow. We're maintaining, which is good. If we were losing, 
on these transactions here, that'd be worse, but mm, I could really use a good gain or two <laughs> to make this less problematic. That thing was on the field for so long. But, good transition into 40, so here we are. So here we are yet again. Kingdom for a shutdown. That was a good pop. We gained a little bit there. Okay, good shutdown. Throws both of the big dudes. Woo, that's dicey. Okay, <laughs> let's just get the battery before we take a spill. Again, making things more complicated than they need to be right now. Despite that face plant there, we still managed to gain. Okay, now this is kind of the make or break at this point. 45 with the wacky conveyor belt here. I take a spill here in a poorly timed show of bad skill. Even a bad shutdown would be the end of it, kinda, because it just freezes them all on the outer ring. Kind of like so. Please, ah, nuts and gum. And nuts and gum there. Hmm. <laughs> Small problem. Small problems add up to big problems. Shutdown didn't really help me as much as it should have, maybe, but... Okay, good. Thank you. It's like, um, please drop. Okay, we really need to get our accelerate back here around at snail's pace. Oh, shoot. That's also bad. Um, I need a pity drop, please. <laughs> Yikes, that was... that was silly and disgusting. Um, this is a bad spot to be. Excuse me, I need to be not around this edge. I also need a pity drop. Not gonna happen. Ah! <laughs> shoot! Ah, shoot, that's the second one we got stuffed at 49. Oh. Oh, no. Some very poorly timed downs working against us super hard. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. That stings a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Whatever, let's count up the numbers. 14 more downs there. We did fight an embryo. We didn't get a justice surge. No victory, unfortunately. No other things to speak of. Don't! Don't, don't. 
move. Dang, this last couple downs can ruin a good run otherwise. I'm not saying necessarily that that run was good otherwise, but it was real bad. It was real, real bad. All right, we got our final one of the evening coming up then. That's not necessarily an easier run either. It's Lemon. <laughs> it's Lemon. Of all androids, it's Lemon. So here we go. Let's get changed one more time. Look away, please. Or don't, you know. Not your parent and or guardian. And look where you please. But nice old lemon shirt. To hopefully bring us luck. So I was really pulling for a three win night. But that is no longer possible. So now we will have to be content perhaps with a two win night. Keep that 50% win rate going. Okay. Isn't that nice and pretty? A very bold yellow, perhaps more akin to a goldenrod, but it's nice nonetheless. So with our colors in place, let's change the window dressing, huh? So bump, bump, bump. Ah, isn't that all pretty? Okay. You know. You know what it was, I think. It's because I skipped my layer 27 stretch. That's why we lost. That's what I'm gonna blame it on anyways. We didn't stretch at 27, we didn't hydrate properly. And also I was just generally bad, but hey, let, let's blame it on some other external factors too. So Lemon, one of Lemon's alt costumes is, is pretty cool. We've got, oops, gotta click back in. Pink Lemon. <laughs> Pink lemonade, if, if you will, or pink ranger lemon, or whatever. It's just very, it's very cute. Like, all these alt costumes are fantastic. Well, oh, let's hydrate properly. Hydrate properly and, uh, and proceed to the final run. But we are at a good kind of intermediate point. This is Infinity Drive for Life, multi-day charity stream to support Extra Life, which supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This event in particular is going to support Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa to help out with their COVID-19 impact fund. Obviously, COVID-19 being a terrible pandemic raging across the world. Um, it sucks. It's terrible. Um, but we're doing the best we can to, to help out in our own special ways. I appreciate all the generous donations going through. Really good and cool of people to do that. So thank you very much. Uh, all right, let's get let's get on this. Lemon! Yes! Let's see if we can do a lemon two for two here. So we failed our cactus two for two. We do have a win registered with lemon from last Wednesday? Wednesday? I think Wednesday, right? So here's hoping we can uh, make it a win tonight. A little bit less experienced with her. Very spread out damage, but we will do our best. Bonk. Here. We're best to focus fire by getting all up in some grills. Drop chain right there because I missed my first rocket against the big red. Oh well. That's what happens sometimes. You get all excited and then you mess up the aim. Lemon's backstory here is that she's one of the other three that Cactus meets in the cargo bay. She is the Genki Star's medical officer. And uh, her mentor is none other than Vespula that we face on, on layer 15. So that's kind of a bittersweet fight with Lemon as well. Which I guess makes sense, you know. Lemon's being bitter. <laughs> but anyway. We get another shot at the, uh, the strong ball strats of Lemon. So looking forward to that. Maybe we can actually do it 
properly this time. Let's see if Vespi holds herself together and doesn't phase in and out of existence like she did in that cactus run. That was kind of wild. Kind of wild, whatever was happening there. Chain there like a champ. Nice. <laughs> Nothing needed in the intervening time. That's always so embarrassing. It's such a simple layer to be dropping chain on, and there it goes. So we're gonna have a, a slightly easier layer five since we started blue there and we're just up to green. Be a little bit less dense, but you hate to see it. A little bit less of a disadvantage against the mine waves of, of six here since we've got a, a bit more damage distribution going on. Usually it's enough to pop the smaller mines before they become problems, but I guess we'll see very shortly, won't we? Hopefully not pull a hat trick of layer six on layers of first down here. But just by saying so, I think I perhaps have sealed my fate. Small accelerate to help us out there. Yeah, actually, kind of. I made that a lot easier than it normally is. So bye bye, layer six. You do not get the first down crown tonight. Well, at least for this run. Soft touch with Embryo. With Lemon here. Just total beast on single target damage with that rocket launcher. Not much to speak of there. Good at taking down crowds of wasps. The one benefit of this very spread out weapon. One benefit of a hypercharged Contra spread gun. Just dealing with those tiny dudes very easy. Also good at nuking entire cans of them with the rockets, too. Super good and efficient. I'm gonna lose it there because that dude is caught. Yeah, great. <laughs> Dang it. Oh man. Not good at maintaining chain at very silly spots here. It's been a not great night for that.
up the rest of the layer fine. Explosives to manage there. Hopefully they kind of spread out in an ideal spot, and then one one good AOE rocket really opened it up. around the corner. The big old coward. Now, come on, that's my strategy. Get out of here. Stop copying me. Dude, come on! Oh, you coward! <laughs> ah, this last gasp, he steals my chain from me. Ah, silly. I knew he was gonna do it too, I was trying to head him off, but he fast enough. Starting 13 at green instead of red. Grr. Not that it matters, like, if we start a lot of the conveyor belt layers of something other than red, that's probably okay. Makes it slightly easier. Principle of the matter, though. Get some. tap on the rock. It's usually enough to deal with those mine cans because the AOE on the rock is so strong. Oh, come on. I thought I had swapped back to get through there. Oops. Well, there we go. 14 gets it. Not awful. Not awful, I guess. We hit double digits this time. <laughs> so that's better. <laughs> Maybe not great, but better. All right, here we go with Vespi. Back to full power. Able to do a nice, hopefully clean ball strat. Bonk. There we go. Oh, well, <laughs> and then take a quick left to the face. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, oh, Vespi. You, you tricky. You tricky one, ain't you? Oh, quite a complete ball strat there. We had to cut and run a little early. 
Oh, that's some gum. Yikes, we are taking all the downs on the body phases, ain't we? That's disgusting. There we go. I had to wait that one out a little bit more to make sure there were enough wasps around. Otherwise, I've been a little bit scared to use our last rocket. But get out of here, Vespi. Dang it. <laughs> Just get. Just get. Trouble us no longer. Alright, well, that's kind of silly. But well, we did at least execute the ball strat mostly good. Or well, whatever. Battery over here. Firepower extended. You're not going to stop me. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Float around the corner just enough for me to get you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot, though. Tag me around the corner like that. Alright, kind of a slip shot 15 and 16. Not our best work. That's right. Nothing but good from here on out, right? That's how it goes. a lot of bullets that uh, squared away then. Good shooting all, but wasn't enough. So, I guess bad shooting. Oh, stepped in front of that one on my own. Can't blame nothing. Nothing but me on that one. That's okay, we're getting the silly stuff out early, so we don't end up doing silly stuff on on the 40s or something. That's that's my plan here. I'm thinking ahead. Thinking ahead to take care of this stuff. Thought better of it. Thought better of it. I thought I would have been just far enough away from that rocket, but oops, misjudged once again. Battery over here. That's right. Yeah, not until <clears throat> not until early 30s does it become important to actually play well. Okay, that's a few too many mines to be slipping by like that. Excuse me. That's enough of being silly and dangerous. Alright, 
finally back up to red layers. Tried real hard to throw it away right there, too. As soon as I said something. But whatever, it's fine. a little dangerous with lemon, no matter how well you do. Because it can be a, a real big pain to try to focus fire, unless you're right up in there. And as this goes on here, getting right up in there becomes a less and less good idea. Um, okay. Alright, I saw what knocked me for most of that there. I didn't see what the final shot was, though. Is there a free-floating bullet just kind of hanging out? It's not great. Oh well, I guess it's early enough it doesn't matter still, but hmm, let me think about that one a little bit. too good on our total chain counts with Lemon either. We're running out of time to, to kind of get an easy 2,000. Ooh, that was a bit sketchy. Why did we dive in between the wall? <laughs> um, wait a minute. I remember making that decision. playing aggressively before it really matters, but this is getting silly. Justice Surge is going to be interesting, if we even get a chance at it. And I'm probably gonna skip a, a phase here, which is uh, exciting. Uh, I don't know if that counted as a surge. Can somebody double check that for me? That was extremely loose. I feel like that wasn't a surge, but it very well could have been. Like there was a, there was a solid countable amount of time be between bopping his head and bopping him.
probably does just have to confirm that later. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened with that. That wasn't a clear miss like the previous two runs. No surge. All right, thank you. That's unfortunate, but yeah, I I had a feeling it wasn't. But still, it was close enough where it very well could have been. Thank you, though. Appreciate the confirm. So no surges tonight either. Mm. They are tough to do, so I'm not too disappointed. And especially with the well, Obby should have been probably a pretty easy surge. But I had bad lineup for that. Cactus is a tough surge to do, and I didn't have any sort of lineup. And Lemon, I kind of botched the final phase, so... Not really too surprised, I guess, with the results. Well, whatever. I mean, we got now six more tries at it, so... <laughs> so, oh well, I guess. Alright, we've had a good couple layers here. Now we're, we're hitting stride with Lemon. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to get in the swing of things of different androids, especially when you go from somebody bog standard like like Cactus to something with a bit more pep to it. And even Lemon isn't that much of a stretch, really. She's got some very standard weapons as well. But still, oh my god, that hero mine. <laughs> that hero mine almost got me. He was on his way. Had his ticket stub and everything. It's like, yeah, today, today I'm getting it. I'm like, nah, not this time. Alright, finally, a solid thousand chain. In our grasp. insist on going for that narrow spot up there. So it's gonna tag me if we get some mines that I don't expect. Hopefully we are at the end of the phase. So on to uh, Casino Layer Mark 3 here. Act 3, Zone 3, whatever. Please don't drop chain there, thank you. <laughs> like, please. This is one little dude. Not again. Musical hitch to tell me it's 26 there. Thank you. Nice 26. Very clean. Heard a shutdown in one of those, but this will deal with what we got. big group like that. Alright, nice clean 27. Forgot how short that one is. Oh wait, 27th layer stretch, right. Forgot about it the other two times. Mm. Hydrate. 
stretch them shoulders. You know, it's important. Don't want to develop a cramp. Get carpal tunnel. Oh, oh, it feels good. It feels good to stretch after sitting here for so long. My goodness. All right. I wish I did have some organ music or something. That would make a lot of sense. Maybe for next event, I'll think about doing something like that. But for now, it's a nice 27 player stretch. We're ready to take on the rest. Solid 16 hundo chain going. I didn't curse myself by saying so. I can't have something to say about it. Shot. I got the smaller dude with that crack shot rocket there. Not the big dude who's lasering me. Trying to laser me. towards a nice casual 2000 chain. Please make this happen. <laughs> I'm tired of proving myself wrong every time I say something about it. The thing is, I don't want to stop saying something about it. It makes things interesting, but please, just let me have this. Let me have it just this once. Turrets do a lot of work for me. They're eating my kills. Kill stealers. Okay. Clean 28. Hey, those dudes able to fire off their pack of rockets because it makes it so treacherous. Everything going on, especially with Lemon's weapon, there's so many projectiles just hanging around. Like, come on. Gotta focus down those big doggos. Have that problem. Playing fast and loose with those high frames. <laughs> Excuse me. My goodness. It's at the very hair edge of however many seconds you get for a shutdown. Oh, rip chain because they were bouncing around. Ah! No, that was a good solid, like 23 hundo then. So that's good, and that's probably the peak of what we're gonna hit tonight unless we get like a perfect all the way through 40s from here. Considering this is only 29, probably pretty unlikely. But hey, one can dream.
pretty good on the battery, though. This is about the time when it should be winding down. Much faster than it would appear, but... It's a good bounce on that line. <laughs> Good flip there. I think the accelerate would have saved me, but probably for the best that I didn't eat all the rest of my health. Okay, drop chain there. Very close. Okay, interesting choice of shutdown there. Not typically my first go with that, but hey, I guess if it works, it works. Dudes fire off their loads. It's not a great idea. Hopefully, we've got a lot of room to maneuver, so it's not terrible. Probably helps me out a little bit, honestly. Some ship damage against some stuff as it's bouncing around. Okay, coming up on Titan Gank. Here we go. Take the coward blue, because <laughs> things get wild, especially with lemon. Take a second coward blue. Why, there's always one that gets caught back there. Come on. All right, good Titan gank management. We're not out of this yet, though. EX one more time. So another five points just for making it this far. It's a lot of shutdowns that we don't want. Our firepower through the early phases. Grab that firepower, that's fine. Uh, okay, so he's gonna turn us this way and keep us from those other two. Unfortunate. Oh, but he leads us into the firepower for next phase. Very good. Thanks, Embryo EX. What a pal. Oh, well, stuff those first two rockets. Okay, good, good aim on those. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna go blue to finish this out? I think so. I don't like this phase. Just come on. It's time to get over there, too, and to assess his pattern without totally eating it. Okay, good. Late battery grab, but I wasn't gonna catch it on the conveyor belt without an, an accelerate. Plans.
pretty good battery management here. That was surprisingly good. Good accelerates going here too. Just to make up for some of it. No! Oh come on, I missed all of those. The dude was stuck on a wall, of course. Uh. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Shoot! Ah so irritated. Level layer 33, why? <laughs> Just why are you doing this to me? Okay, we're running out of, out of time to make a good chain here. Dang it. Firepower Ugh. Curse you, 33. You're even worse than the curse sometimes. Oi. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We still got this. I hope. Um. Let's start getting that ring out of there, though. Please. Thank you. Boy, that was a... Alright. First little Blizzard Critical on 34. We've been real consistent about that. At the very least. Oops, sir. Excuse. Please. I swear I was out of range. Reasonable. Dog, doggo! Please don't do that! Oh, come on! What did I get tagged by there? Oh, that's a bad place to have that. Excuse me. Jer jerk doggos? Come on. Oh, no. Oof. Alright, that's gonna cost us a lot. That was some real bad timing on everything. least of which was almost that. My goodness, what was that? I don't, I don't need all those shutdowns. It's just like one. <laughs> it's just one to, to let me get back on my feet here. Alright, it's okay. We're still... We're in a little bit of a precarious position, but we're bringing it back. Not be grabbed by Doggo. My goodness. It's making me eat the floor all over the place. Popping on the other side of the hole. <laughs> Dang it. what I all ate there. He must have pushed a fair few things in me. Jerk. Okay, I have to 
start eating power-ups early, because I don't like this. I don't like how this is shaking up. Ooh, especially that. Need a big spread of something that I, from a turret I thought I'd killed. I'll go. The time I hear the tether noise, gives me a little tiny heart attack. something. It's a pretty balanced end of the wave. Usually I leave too many waves of the doggos left. Those dudes left. Thanks. Curse, no wonder they're popping late now. I'm pretty focused on the inside here, and that's good. Oh, that's a dangerous move. <laughs> and lots of lasers doing a little bit of crossfire. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. It's an interesting layer transition there. Don't really appreciate. Fire power extended. You're not going to stop me. Good. Dude, ate most of that mine explosion. Doggo, <laughs> please stop. Oh my goodness. Please stop with that nonsense. Oh, gravy. I'm too old for this. Okay, that was a good battery pop there. Nice and early. Okay, here we in the 40s again. Now. <laughs> Kingdoms for shutdowns and all of that. Good. That was a nice early one.
good. Pop of that shut down there. We'll take another just because it was sitting there. And a third for good measure. Why not? My goodness. Can't have doggos grabbing me in the middle here, though. The, uh, unfortunate. Okay, nice. Kind of a waste of a shutdown there. We'll take that one, though. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fully out of critical. That's ridiculous on the 40s. Holy heck. Alright. Oh, Good power up balance going on. Oops, we lost like two of those. What was that? Shit. Um, that's not good. It slows us down considerably. Take this one really unfortunately timed one. <laughs> and we're back on our back foot here. Excellently timed shutdown in the 49. Beautiful. Not out of it just yet. But it's something. <laughs> wow, that was a move. <laughs> okay. And then I got... Total garbage just shoved into my face after that excellent move. Oh shoot, that wasn't a shutdown. Okay, good. <laughs> Pity pop. Oh my goodness, that was extremely silly. <laughs> have to look back at that last at that last dance through that absolute chaotic maelstrom mm. I'm going to have to look at that again cuz that was that was some ridiculous move It's only fitting that I got mines jumped into my face right after but holy heck up till that point it was pretty good So all right another win hooray <laughs> Hooray! Let's tick up some numbers here. Another 11 downs. It's the 156. We got another embryo fight in there. It's another 5 points there. Another victory. Heck yeah. That's it for that. Oh my goodness. Whew. There we go. Now the hearts are pumping. <laughs> oh, we also have another donation. $25 for a Mega Weapon. Lemon cutest android. Don't tell Holly. Alright, well, your secret's safe with me. Omega Weapon, thank you very much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Phew, if ever there were a time 
where I've pulled some really heinously ridiculous silliness. That's it right there. That's it right there, my goodness. Okay, well that was the final run of the evening. Pulled out another win, so win-loss win yet again. Really should have had that cactus win to make it a to, ha to make it a hat trick tonight, but uh, no such luck, I'm afraid. No such luck. Oh well, maybe next time. Maybe next time, because next time is gonna be on Wednesday. It'll be round five. We'll be doing. Let's see, who will be on Wednesday? It's gonna be a bit tougher of a go of things, surely, because tonight was gonna be the easiest of the week. So of course it would be. So for Wednesday, we've got Holly, Peanut, and Coral coming up. Still not as rough of a lineup as we had last Friday. Um, but gonna be kind of rough as soon as we... Especially once we get to Coral. My goodness. That's gonna be a rough go of things. <clears throat> that's bonus round number five. And then, since we met 900 points, we got bonus round number six coming up on Friday, 28th August, 7 p.m. CDT. That'll be the remaining three. Uh, I don't remember the order exactly, but it'll be Starch, Licorice, and Shiitake, and that's going to be a rough round. My goodness. Starch will be easy. I wonder if she's going to be the first one there. But then Licorice and Shiitake to round it out is going to be... a little problematic. My goodness. My goodness. All right, let's 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 count up some numbers. Let's count up some numbers. We uh, blew past 900 points for round five, or for round six, rather. Excuse me. 1,400 points would be the next threshold for round seven. That'd be ridiculous, but also awesome. So uh, that's a thing out there. So alongside our $453 worth of donations, our point total is now sitting out. Let's see, 156 plus 35 plus 20, 120 plus 10 plus 180 plus 6. Wow. Plus 453. Woo! 980. 980, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we got two rounds to push that to 1400. I think we can do it. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably the worst for me if it happens. Because I gotta be honest, I didn't expect us to be doing two full run-throughs of Infinity Drives, but here we are. This is the state of the world today. 24th August, 2020. Phew! Okay, but that's it for tonight. This is Infinity Drive for Life, charity stream event supporting Extra Life, which supports Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This event in particular is going to support Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin to help with their COVID-19 impact fund. Every dollar goes straight to them. Extra Life doesn't take anything off the top. As always, an excellent, excellent cause. So thank you very much, everybody, for your generosity. I hope you'll continue to shell out since that pushes us to more and more infinity drives here which is super excellent because this is an excellent game and uh as nervous and anxious as it makes me sometimes it's just a real blast to play all right that'll do it for tonight next round will be wednesday night 26 august 7 p.m cdt with holly peanut and coral thanks for watching everybody see you then